people have done waves before, but they never turn a whole uh, field of flowers into giant mm -hmm. tidal waves. You can do magic? Ah! This is amazing! This is impossible! on my roof. I had six brothers, and so I never related to princess movies. When you were a young girl and all of the content and all of the movies are out are saying that you are worth something when you find a man. When you're told that as a young girl, you think that and it affects your choices in life. And so the responsibility that animation has with young children, with young women, with young boys is, is huge. And it was so refreshing to see a character that it had nothing to do with that at all. And what's amazing about the film is that it's set in China, it's beautiful, the cast is Chinese, the cast is Asian, on and off camera, and it's you know written, directed by a woman, starring a woman, produced by women, but it's also not about that at all. It's also just a really wonderful film. Everest is just a kid. Stop hitting yourself. Pang becomes really best friends with Everest. They kind of share this brotherly bond as they go on this adventure. They love to play around. And, uh, and we realize that <clears throat> through Pang and Everest's relationship that Everest is really a kid and he's this adorable furball. Jin is just really like a skeptic. He's like not an easy guy to get along with. I've got blueberries in places where blueberries should never be. But Everest kind of pushes him over and um, he becomes more optimistic and he learns to appreciate what he's got. His family, his cousin, his friends like Yi and um, everything that's around him. I think the biggest challenge honestly was there's a magic component in this movie. Everest has the power to control nature so it's all natural based and for example, there's a scene where there's these giant clouds that turn into koi fish clouds. And we'd sit around with maybe 70 people in the room and I would say, this scene is a scene that should take your breath away and you should be so excited and filled with awe, but it can turn out really ridiculous and look like, you know, cheese at crackers of you know, koi fish <laughs> like going up and down. So I said, you know, it's our job to make this whimsical and beautiful and nothing like that's ever been done. So it took a whole team of people creating special software, a team of art directors and our production designer coming up with paintings of how to make the fish more impressionistic and not silly so that everyone would laugh. So it's and you guys did that <laughs> so incredibly well. Yeah. It's so impactful but so subtle but it's all based in nature everything is something you would have seen in a different part of nature i think that was the challenge but it was also very fun to see the process mm. to see iterations that didn't work and failed and then you know all of us hold our breath and you realize you have one month to try to come up with it and then you finally do and the whole room goes Whoop. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's beautiful you did that e i did that this actually is the first big studio CG film that stars an all-Chinese cast set in China. So we're very excited about that. The landscape itself was something I started to research once I was writing the movie. And what I discovered is that there are so many beautiful parts of China that no one ever knows about. I was just captivated even in my research. And so it was a real inspiration just to highlight this journey across China. I've worked in this industry for 29 years and seen so many of my friends who are guys be able to write and direct their own film. And I'm actually the first female original writer and main director of an animated film in history. People say, aren't you excited about that? And there's a little part of me that's like, it, it no. took too long. Yeah. <laughs> you know? When you get to Hollywood and you get to actually the nitty gritty of making things and you realize how disproportionate it is to, to how the the double standards that there are for women and men it's kind of shocking it was right. something that hit me hard being raised in a family of all boys and kind of being one with the wolf pack and then being like oh it's not like this in the real world this is different and something that's meant a lot to me is changing that and changing what young kids what young boys and girls see on on the screen when you grow up and you know i grew up in ventura surf, skateboard, camping, the whole thing, um, and you, you don't have any role models for yourself in anything that you're watching, um, it was a real goal of mine to create that, and then Chloe just embodied it. And I think that when you have a synergy like that between mm. director and your actor, plus all of these guys are so fantastic, <laughs> and they're so 
just, they were so willing to just be vulnerable. I feel so honored to have worked with them because they just went anywhere with me. <laughs>